Hello everyone, I am Deepesh. I will be showing you how to perform data science related activities using a combination of skills, for example, Java 8 and R. Today I will show you how to extract a word count from a file using Java 8 and then import it using R. In a typical data science related activity, you may often encounter uh, problems where you have to use multiple skill sets so I hope that this will help you understand where we can apply multiple skill sets for example Java and R to solve your problem that you are facing let's start with a file which will contain some um, anything for example let me take some sonnets from Shakespeare and let's try to find the word count. Okay, let's take this for example and let's write it into a file. Okay, so now we have got uh, some lines in this input file which contain some commas, columns, full stops and exclamation marks. As you can see, so let's save it and there are some words which we need to count. Okay, let's start. I'll be using Java and I'll be using Eclipse for that case and for R I'll be using R Studio. Let me start with a new project. WC. Okay, so now we have got a blank project where I'll be adding a, a file. Okay, so we have got a blank file where we can we'll be able to write our programs let's start Let's name the input file. Let's see the location of the input file. It is D colon data analysis and input. Let's name the output file, for example. We'll use a file writer. Okay. 
it says I need to import it also says I need to surround it by a try catch okay so we have surrounded it by a try catch now let's start in Java 8 we can use the power of stream data processing we'll use the stream data processing to read all the files that is in the input and read all the lines in the input file so let's start to read all the lines we do it by using a stream Let's import stream and let's import further and let's start to do this. So we are trying to get all the lines that is present in the input file. After we got it, In order to read all the lines in present in the input file, we have to use ja, Java NIO file dot files. This class, which consists exclusively of static methods to operate on files, directories, or other types of files. Okay. Now our stream is ready. We will now try to use map reduce on the stream and get an output string. Let's name it message. Equal to stream dot. We'll use a flat map. Let us try to map for every S present in the stream. Split it. by a regular expression for our case we'll split it by using all the punctuation marks that we have got in the input file for example our input file contains comma colon exclamation mark and full stop stop Room. and of course spaces after that we are going to collect 
using a connector. using a map function so for every splitted s every word we are going to assign a token called one and then we are going to Sum it. After the sum is over, we are going to convert it into string. Let's run this for the time being. see what it looks like okay so we see that our basic word count is working it is able to count the words and write it into the output string but our output string contains two brackets which we do not need in our final output so we need to remove those let us remove the brackets Replace all. Followed by another replace all. Replace all the closing brackets. Also, we will split it by the commas because we don't need the commas as well. <coughs> now, after this is done, we will write it into the output file. write a for loop where we use the file writer followed by a new line After all the key value items, these are the key value items, have been written into the output file, we will write and close the file writer. Let's try to run it.
let's see the output the output file is present in data analysis slash output dot txt here is our output file okay so we have got all the word count written into the output file now we'll try to import it into R let's open R let's call it read.table equal to output.txt please note that there is no header in this file so we'll use a header equal to false our separator is that equal And let's name the key value columns as key and value. We have already successfully imported the data into R. We can now try to plot it if you want, although the plot is not very we'll try to plot the values so that you can have a look. Okay, so we are getting some plotting from this data so we can continue working with this file once we have imported into R in the next video we'll show you how to I'll show you how to use it use Java and R and we'll see how to use data analysis in further detail thank you very much for watching my video if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like it thank you very much